Right, this review is for Peter from Texas. He'd like to know if frequent PET scans are okay. Short answer, no, it's not really okay. Let's talk about why. When you do, whether it's a, whether it's a CT scan, an MRI scan, any scan that's got the contrast, what happens, they inject you with radioactive glucose, which is a sugar that's injected into the blood. Now we know that sugar does feed cancer, but for that one moment, it's not going to make a major difference of the feeding cancer. It's more the radioactive that's been injected. So what happens is when they do the, the, the CT scan or um, they do a, a PET scan on taking a snapshot or the, the MRI, a snapshot, they want to see the accumulation of this radiation. Now, we know that, that cancer absorbs the glucose 200 times faster than normal healthy cells. So what would happen is, because the cancer absorbs so much, the uptake is going to be sufficient to create a hot spot, this radiation hot spot. Now, while you are seeing the brain and the, the bladder, so, so red is bec- and also the kidneys, is because the brain d- needs carbohydrates. 3% of brain activity needs the, the glucose. Okay, but that excess of of blood sugar becomes urine sugar. To get that that liquid through to the urine is going to have to go through the kidneys. So, looking at this snapshot, it's breast cancer. It's not kidney cancer. It's not um, brain cancer or or or, um, urine cancer or bladder cancer. It's going about that one spot they've seen somewhere else. Now, if there are a few cells, let's say it's just turned to cancer, there's one cell that doubled up to two, doubled up to four cells, those cells are too small of a accumulation to be able to give a hot spot. There must be substantial growth for it to be able to absorb in a way that a scan can see that. So this is only to see tumors already grown enough. These small cancer cells throughout the body, it's not identifying that at all. Okay. So we know that radiation is bad. I don't have to tell you that. When you walk in for that that scan, it says, caution, grave danger, high radiation area, when in use. What that's telling you, grave danger is deadly. It can put you in the grave. So they're telling you it is dangerous. Now the scan itself is not as dangerous as what they're injecting in you. Because you're going to have one or two snapshots. You're going to be exposed to the the radiation but even worse this that's been injected into you is equal to 3,600 worth of chest x-ray radiation. Just a normal radiation of a chest x-ray, do that 3,600 times. That is what's been injected in your body. Instantaneously you've got so many x-rays worth of radiation. Can you see why we say it is bad for you? So my suggestion is only do the scan if it's going to change your treatment choice. So you want to go see, am I clear of cancer? You want to, want to do that. But you need a strategy to be able to, to, to detoxify you from that radiation as well. Or you'd like to say, right, we're doing chemo at the moment and want to know whether we need to switch from one chemo to the other chemo. So don't just go do it to see the progress and say, how's the progress? If you know the cancer is still there, don't do additional scans unnecessary, if I may make that suggestion. Now, how you can help to be able to detox, you can get yourself some iodine. That's 
that should be between 20 and 30 milligram per day. Don't think you're going to, going to get it out of sea kelp. It, that's only give you 225 micrograms MCG per tablet. You're going to have to take 30 to 60 of these tablets daily basis. Where if you go for something like this, iodine, which is 12.5 milligram, two tablets of that takes you up to 25. Can you see where we're getting at? So it's going to be much easier. You can do it with the liquid as well. And uh, just do your calculations to make sure you get sufficient iodine. Now you, you need to do additional to that iodine and that is selenium. So why? Because selenium and iodine are dependent on each other to be absorbed, which means you need as much as 400 mcg per day of selenium to be able to accommodate that amount of iodine. Let me know in the, in the comments whether they told you, your doctors told you the risks of these scans and, and whether they told you how you can, can help detoxify with that. I'd like to know more what was told to you. That will be lovely to see. If you do have one of my units, you can go do the quantum code, go search the radiation, and that's going to be radiation detox. Do this at least the eight hours when you go to sleep after the scan. Make sure you do that as well as the iodine. So the next video is going to be for Joe from New York. He's asking, um, why is my calcium high in my blood? And if you have not watched the video of the real reason for cancer, to the left, click on that one. Please do us a favor, do the subscribe, do the like and the notification bell. That's going to help you to know when the next scan come, next video comes up. Speak to you later. Bye.